This tutorial is going to show you how to use the iPad app Video Physics from Vernier. The Video Physics app is that one there. You want to open it up. You won't see all these experiments. These are just ex different experiments I've done that are saved uh, when you first open it up. What you want to do though, to if you want to delete old ones, you can slide to the left and just hit the delete key. Um, hit that plus in the top left hand corner. You can take a video within the app. You can choose an existing video you already took that's on your camera roll. They also have some sample videos for you to mess around with. Today though we're going to take a video. And when you hit take video you see the camera comes up and I have put a tape measure out in front. So I'm going to use that for my scale. Now it's really important how you set up this tape measure. So for instance if we wanted we have a tennis ball here. And if I put this tennis ball right in front of our scale, we could say, we'll use the inches because those are a little bit bigger than the centimeters. We could say, oh, that is from, what, 18 to 24 inches. That's a six inch tennis ball. Now, are tennis balls actually six in inches in diameter? No, they're, they're not. The problem is the tennis ball is, too, is so much closer to the camera than it is to the scale itself. So whenever you're uh, recording any motion, you always want that motion to be either right on top of or either right in front or right behind your scale. So now if we were to measure the tennis ball to our camera, it looks like it's about two and a half inches or so, and that's the actual diameter of the tennis ball. So whether your scale is a meter stick or you could take a whiteboard and put two lines on the whiteboard and say, okay, those are 30 centimeters apart or whatever, you always want the motion to be in the same plane the same distance from the camera as uh, the scale is. Otherwise, you're going to have a perspective error and all your data is going to be off. So what I'm going to do, uh, once I have my scale already set up, I just hit the record button and we record a video and here's our motion or whatever we do. And then I hit stop and I have my video here. Um, You'll see at the top of the screen when you do this, the little scrubbing bar that you can use to search through the video and it has the trim bars on the end. Those trim bars actually don't work in video physics. So you can play the video again here if you want to make sure it works or you just hit use video in the bottom right hand corner. And the screen that comes up looks like this. Now if we want to play the video again, we hit play at the bottom. We can record the video. video goes through. We can scrub left and right. We can advance one frame at a time, forward or backwards. And once we're sure, okay, we got a good video, we know what we want, I'm gonna go to maybe the part here where my hand just isn't touching it anymore. And I'm gonna, first thing you wanna do is, after you've verified that this video is gonna work, you're gonna set your origin and scale. So the top right hand corner right up here is the origin and scale button. This is going to tell video physics, where is my zero, zero point? Like where is zero on the x-axis, zero on the y-axis? And you can really put that whatever, wherever you want. I'm gonna just put that where the motion starts in this case. If you were tilted, let's say this, the iPad was tilted or something, I could actually rotate the scale a little bit if I wanted to. Um, the next thing you wanna do, or rotate the origin, the next thing you wanna do is set the scale. So at the top here, it says, one pixel equals one meter. So on the screen right now, um, it has one pixels, one meter, and that's not right. This little bar here is gonna set my scale for me. So I'm going to say, so there's the 50 centimeter mark, and there's the 20 centimeter mark. And what the app is doing is it's measure, counting how many pixels are between the 20 and the 50. And I'm gonna tell it that many pixels is 30 centimeters, so 0.3 meters. So now it knows that that distance along that bar between those two circles is 0.3 meters. So then all my numbers will be correct. It can actually figure out how far the tennis ball already um, actually went. So once you have your origin and scale set up, go back to your points. And this is how you are going to tell the app where the object is. You can actually make this inner circle bigger or smaller doesn't have any effect on the data, but it, if you are using a round object, it helps you make sure it's centered every time. And then you just got to tell the app the tennis ball is right here. So I'm just going to tap the middle of the crosshairs, and it puts a red dot, and it advances the movie one frame. And then I tap again, and then I target it, tap again, 
and so on and so forth. If you want to uh, skip some frames, maybe something's wrong, you tap anywhere outside the target and it brings up the rest of the controls and I can advance forward. I wouldn't recommend doing this because I'm just kind of losing some data here, but it's certainly an option. If the tennis ball is really blurred, you need to choose a, a consistent point on that ball. So maybe it's always the front or always the back or always you know, the middle, um, but if the middle's not clear, sometimes just make sure you're choosing a consistent point. For instance, oops, so I accidentally made a point over there. It obviously wasn't there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch outside the target area, and I'm gonna hold down and touch until I get those blue arrows, and then I just drag this little box to select that data point, and then I hit delete, and then it's gone. And I could do that over a bunch of data points if I wanted to. So let's say I've taken all the data points that I want, and I don't want to take any more. I'm going to, uh, I need to analyze this data. So I'm going to export the data. In the top right-hand corner, there's that share button. And we just want the data file. You can also do the video if you want, but since not everybody has the video physics app, we just want the data file. And you're going to email that to your team. There's also a, a track option in the bottom right hand corner. It's a very new feature. I haven't messed around, messed around with it too much. When I have tried it, it didn't work very well. Perhaps it'll work a little bit, a little bit better later. So now once I've emailed my data to the team, I'm going to go over to my mail app. Hopefully it comes through here. There we go. And there's going to be two files attached. One is the movie. Oh, it does, a, it does attach the movie automatically. One is this .cmbl file. That's the data file. I want to select that. I want to click Open in Graphical, and that's going to open in my graphical app, which you have another tutorial for how to use.